is Escape from Tarkov dying? That's a big topic of today's video, pretty interesting and we will switch the perspectives from the business side and of course the player base, so you shouldn't miss this one and let's start. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here and I guess we all noticed some changes, you're right, almost no changes, nothing new, nothing special and Tarkov is a little bit too repetitive and we all know how to make some progress on Tarkov and we all know that but what is the actual downside of the current state of escape from Tarkov we will show or we will take a closer look to some numbers to some perspective and of course some personal feelings about Tarkov right now and I will start with some numbers I will show you the twitch game statistics and the Google Trend statistics about Escape from Tarkov. And what we can see is a big trend downwards. That means that less players are interested in Escape from Tarkov, especially on Twitch. We can see that the viewer base is getting down in a way, way shorter uh, time period compared to the last wipes and big patches. But And the reason for this progress in terms of the interest for Escape from Tarkov is quite obvious the last patch wasn't that big of course we had this wipe and we can see the peak but after a short time period the interest from the player base is getting lower and lower, lower quite fast so that's why we need something Tarkov has to do something or on the other hand this can be a very good maybe the best thing that Tarkov could happen in the last days weeks and months in this game because right now you have the really really true players who want to play Tarkov not because they are influenced by a streamer or by a different mood or whatever the current player base or the player base in the next weeks and months is the true Tarkov or our true Tarkov community so Tarkov could use the current state to do more tests, to test things, to test, test different settings and all of that. So right now it's a, or it could be a good way to test some things out. But let's change the perspective from the player base to the bus business POE. So of course it was good for the whole business that Tarkov is a success. And of course as a company you need money to work and you need money to make some progress. That's for sure. But the thing is, the bigger your whole project is in a very short time period, you cannot control it. And that's the major problem of, of Escape from Tarkov. They went too big, too fast. But that's just my opinion. Tarkov lost a little bit of its soul, of its true game mechanic. But again, that's just my, my thing, how I feel about Tarkov. The last wipes or the last hours in Tarkov was always the same, always the same thing. It's it's kind of the same over and over again, questing and, and all of that stuff. So, and that's why if you are not a true Tarkov, hardcore Tarkov player, you will lose the interest in Tarkov, of course. So right now, this could be bad for the player base because if you have less to do and if you have less money in a company, you are getting limited. I'm not saying the Tarkov is going down and Battleset going down completely, don't get me wrong, but it's just my thing why I think that if you are big and if you are a major title and if you are if you have a major game, this could help the whole company if you use your your tools right. On the other hand, we all know that Tarkov is a pretty difficult, pretty hardcore game and not everybody has a lot of time to spend all his freedom into Tarkov to make a lot of progress, money and all of that. So they want to use their spare time right, they want to have fun a lot of that, so the interest in real money traders is high. And that's why right now it could also be a pretty good time in Tarkov, because if your game is less popular in terms of for the, for the majority of the shooter player base, which are not familiar with the Tarkov spirit, the interest will go down in real money trading and so we will have less cheaters but that's just a theory because the most cheaters are real money traders who want to make or earn some money for a living and all of that but of course we as the player base we need something to do we need content but not the same gameplay over and over and over again if you ask me if you truly ask me it was a big surprise that some big content creators and streamers are switching games and i think with battlefield 2042 
Tarkov can get a big opponent and a big strike in terms of its player base because Battlefield is going to be, or it looks like, that Battlefield is going to be big, huge and a pretty good solid game. Beta is starting in a few days and with the hazard mode they will bring, like they said, a new multiplayer shoot experience so we will or we have to wait how big the impact is from Battlefield 4 Escape from Tarkov but I guess we will get some new content at the end of the year as always but Tarkov should or Battlestate games should be should be aware that there is some some things going on and they have to do something but right now I'm interested in your opinion what do you think about the current state of escape from Tarkov is Tarkov dying is it going downwards for you personally write in the comments below I'm pretty in interested in your in your opinion and as always we Germans want to win at least something that's why your like is so important for this video stay safe and see you in the next one cut attack in the background